Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we have Kaushagi with us. She has 7 years of experience in this field and she is here to guide you all about this field. How to make a portfolio, how to crack interview and she is also going to share some online resources that are going to help you. So let's welcome Kaushagi. Okay, so hi Kaushagi. Hi. Uh, so let's start from where you have started. Just let us know. So I am not from an IT background. So I am from a non-IT background. I did engineering in electronics and communication. And then I did MBA as a general MBA, HR and marketing. And then I landed up a job in business analyst. I started my career as a business analyst, then slowly transitioned to data analyst career, data analytics actually. So it is not a significant change as such because my roles and responsibilities being as a BA was also similar to data analyst as well. So the transition was very smooth. Uh, so 80 percentage, it was an on the job training and 20 percentage, it, will, it was, you know, a self study using uh, some of the learning portals and other websites and so on. So that's how I started. Uh, right now I'm in a financial uh, domain working as a senior data analyst. And what exactly this field is about? What kind of work we have to do? So when you want to know about data analysts, let's understand about what data analysis process and procedure is. So we all know that in day to day in a business, there is an ample amount of data being stored in a database for every single transaction they make. So as a data analyst, what we do is we collect, gather those data, we transform them, uh, we clean them, we model them and produce report so that a business can make an informed decision from that and solve a problem. So a typical end-to-end -end data analyst will be involved in every single process and procedures of this. But an entry level mostly uh, will be involved or responsible for any one single process and procedures of a data analyst's journey. So that's what a data analyst do. And what are the tools that a person should know before starting this field? Okay, so there are diverse, as I mentioned. So there is no like one particular uh, tools that you you should be specifically understanding. But uh, predominantly, what I would suggest is number one, any query language to query your data from the database, and number two, you have to export that data into Excel then uh, do some cleaning basic cleaning and transform and then uh, produce a report number three uh, it's not a tool i suggest a basic statistics understanding so that uh, analyst is well aware of what type of graph to be used and what type of analysis is suitable to specific uh, data any exploratory data analysis or descriptive data analysis will help them you know do their analysis better. Uh, do you have any YouTube playlist or some books that can help them to understand better? Uh, so for an entry level, uh, I would suggest uh, there is something called Google Data Analytics uh, in Coursera, which is, uh, um, you know, powered by Google itself. So which is a very good uh, base to start with because uh, they concentrate on every single process and procedures that I mentioned. And they also concentrate which is the supporting tool for each of the processes and procedures. So if you have no idea about what a data analyst would do, but you're interested to explore, uh, but you're not very familiar with where to get started, then please go ahead and register yourself. This is a very structured format, of course, where you will understand every process. And also you will understand what is the forums that you can connect so that you can get help from a senior who's working in that already. Even I have done these kind of uh, free trainings in YouTube as well. So what channel that I recommend is, is something called Code Basics, uh, which uh, you know have very well structured uh, learning platform. So they concentrate on SQL. Mm, Python, R and all of that which really helps you to understand the basic level. They also have advanced which is a paid version of their learning. And uh, how much time it's going to take for a beginner who is learning online? Anywhere between uh, three to six months. If you are a full-time learner then definitely not more than three months. Then if you are already into a job and you want to move to this career then definitely it's going to take anywhere between three to six months. But the best opportunity is to seek a good opportunity of data analyst inside your company uh, so that they, you know, understand your skills better instead of moving as a fresher and starting from scratch. Then what's the next step after this, after learning courses? Once you understand that this is the field, this is the niche area that you want to follow, there are ample resources and websites that provide you 
you know data sets free data sets so start using them start applying the skills that you have acquired in these learnings and start creating some projects not specifically answering to uh, any particular problem instead just just start with uh, applying the skills then eventually seek a website that give you problem statements and a data set one such example that i can think of is a maven analytics where they create competitions related to data analyst and they give you a free data set and as well as they give you a problem statement so you can work towards it apply your skills and submit your results accordingly so this is what will help you the next immediate step after uh, you know acquiring all the skills and after just practicing it uh, briefly and a person is very confident that he wants to go in this field then how he should apply in this job okay so uh, once you acquire these skills and once you have a specific projects in line and you have gained an experience based on the projects that you have worked and applied all the skills start creating portfolio this portfolio will uh, give you experience and the confidence to talk in the interview so you can actually correlate the skills that you have gained and the understanding that you have got in this projects and those will uh, help you talk about your expert area and which domain you want to focus on so based on which you can uh, understand which company that you want to apply and start applying to those companies specifically and uh, move towards your goal where you want to be where should be built up portfolio and where have you built your portfolio and which type of projects we need to upload there to get good jobs so when i mean by portfolio is publishing your work so it could be either in linkedin it could be in a github or there are other platforms like uh, maven analytics where they give up uh, you know forum where you can publish your data set and talk about what you have done in the website and all of that and you can the other one third uh, would be like you can create a website for yourself and talk about what is the business problem that your analysis is solving and what is the insight you have got from the analysis and what way you would like to approach and all of that so if you publish and start putting that in your resume it will be a really you uh, know stand out uh, how many rounds are there in interview and which type of questions they basically ask okay so if you are a beginner then typically it starts from an aptitude then technical then hr or business round but if you are a lateral then majority the technical uh, and the business round will be there where they will understand your skill set based on the tools that you have put in your resume and how well your analytical skills are in every single role what um, skill that is been constantly uh, pointed out is how um, your intention towards analysis is measured how well you can articulate the problem and give a solution irrespective of whichever tool that you are expertise in one uh, thing that i can specify is uh, never restrict yourself to any specific tools because we are not a tool expert we are analysis expert where uh, beyond the tool we look for to solve a problem to the customer irrespective of which tool we are working on if a customer is comfortable only in excel we go ahead and do analysis only in excel try to produce the report that they are looking for we are here to solve a problem but not promote any specific and what are the opportunities in this field there are diverse uh, how you can do either you can move towards a product analyst or you can move towards data scientist so the major difference between being a data analyst and data scientist is majority of the data analyst work on descriptive analysis that based on the history of data we produce report so when so are saying that this is what happened in the historic period based on the data and uh, this is how you can improve but the data scientists they do a predictive analysis based on the modeling they predict the future how could the sales or the business can perform or will be performing in the future so either they have a choice to move towards a product analyst or a, a data scientist okay and the last question is what are the five tips that you would like to give for a beginner so the number one that i would suggest is uh, be open to opportunities so that um, you never know until you get your hands dirty 
so once you start working only you will figure out what area and your expertise you have so be open number two is once you understand this is the niche area that you want to focus and why you exactly want to focus do that analysis and understand your unique selling proposition number three is uh, once you have all these analysis in place uh, try to have a goal so that uh, for example you want to be in this company in so and so period and all of that so have it um, written down as a goal then number four start tracking in a two weeks interval so that you will understand having a short term goal whether you stand uh, meet the expectations or not so those tracking is very essential uh, because seeking a job is itself a full time job so you definitely have to track the progress and see where you stand exactly at the moment then number 5 um, is start loving your data analysis because if you are in the data analysis field definitely you should be enjoying math as well so build that curiosity don't restrict yourself to any particular um, you know tools and features explore and see how you can solve a business problem thank you kashika for joining us and helping us to know more about this field and i hope we will meet soon thank you so much thanks so much for having me